Good morning, I'm Neva Reddy Manu, and this is your morning news fix for Tuesday, 9th of April. In this update, Winston Peters is reiterating New Zealand's call for a ceasefire in Gaza on the world stage. The foreign minister has been speaking at the UN General Assembly in New York. He says Hamas must immediately release all remaining hostages, but says New Zealand is also gravely concerned about any Israeli military offensive on southern Gaza. Peters says Gaza civilians shouldn't have to pay the price for defeating Hamas, and there's a risk of the conflict spreading further afield. The risk of the wider region being further drawn into this conflict also remain alive. Alarmingly high. We strongly urge regional actors, including Iran, to maximise restraint. The government's lifting its intensity in foreign affairs relationships. Winston Peters is in the US this week, and you've just heard part of his address to the UN General Assembly. And on Sunday, Prime Minister Christopher Luxon travels to Southeast Asia to renew relationships and build new connections. He says he's making an all-of-government effort. Whether it's around foreign affairs, whether it's around defence, whether it's around trade uh, and security, we are having a full court press, particularly with Ministers Maclay, Peters, Collins and myself. And Luxon says the public sector sector will need to think differently and innovate to meet new targets. The government set nine targets to meet by 2030. They include shortening emergency department stays and waits for planned care, increasing school attendance, reducing violent crime and having fewer people on the job seeker benefit. Christopher Luxon wants to focus the public service, ministers and the government on what the New Zealand public tells him is important. A petition challenging the Midwifery Council's scope of practice is heading to Parliament. Signed by 7,000 people, it calls on the government to investigate recent changes to the Council's revised scope. It was sparked after the words woman and baby were replaced by Fano. Petition author Deb Hayes says while woman was re-added last month, it was as a tag-on to the word persons. And I still think that the Midwifery Council needs investigating because that's too many categories of people that midwives are going to look after, including men and children. The world of wearable arts is set to slay the stage in Wellington. This year's theme's just been announced as Dream Awake, with mysterious and magical outfits and art to be showcased from late September to mid-October. World of Wearable Arts Chief Executive Meg Williams can't wait, saying the key focus is bringing the garments closer to audiences with a new stage with six themes. And I think my favourite is Crazy Curiosities of the Creature Carnival. (laughs) So that's going to be an amazing, inspiring theme for our designers to respond to. In sport, Australian thoroughbred horse sale history has been made with the first live foal of former champion Winks being bought at auction by one of the mayor's owners for record $10.95 million. Silver Ferns captain Amelia Ann Ekinacio has called for Netball New Zealand to change their test selection criteria so players can ply their trade overseas. Everton have been docked an additional two points for breaching Premier League football's profit and sustainability rules. They are now two points above the relegation zone. I'm Neva Reti Manu and that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.